We are getting into checking the timing on this truck. Now for some of you guys probably didn't know you could use a timing light, but what you need is an adapter kit. So I bought this actually not that long ago because my old one uh, wasn't working. So I bought this off of eBay um, and it basically, it just needs power and ground, a regular timing light. I actually had to buy a new timing light too. Long story, don't lend your shit out to people. And then it has the adapter that goes to your number one injection line. And then this wants a ground, so I put it on there for a ground. Now, what you have to do is on the front of the, or on the crankshaft and the engine, you have to have a um, timing mark, basically. Either a timing pointer or a timing mark. I don't know how well, cause it's not, I've already had it running just to make sure everything was working. But you see, see that white mark? I'll circle it in the video on the front cover. And when I, oh, actually, you can see the other half of the mark right there. So you can see where I marked it. So I brought the engine up to top dead center. See it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Turn light on, you can see it flashing. We do a good down in here. That's what we have for climbing right now. I'd say between 16 and 17. So we're between 16 and 17. It's not an exact science because I don't have a timing, actual little timing pin, but we're about 16 degrees, I'm gonna say. That's what the engine sounds like. So according to that, one tooth is four to five degrees advanced, which would make sense to me. All right, so we got the um, just race parts um, I don't know what you want to call it, data logger, control system, gauge unit, whatever you want to call it. We got it, I'm going to say installed, uh, just set up. This is where we're going to use for setups on the different trucks to give us some data for now anyway, until we buy something whizzier. But, so we got, how we got set up right now, we have oil temp, if you don't mind the sensors leaking a little, I have to pull it up and reseal it. But we have oil temp, we have back pressure, we have EGT, and then we have boost on this side. And then we have <clears throat> on this side, we have air intake temp and another boost sensor. So we're gonna hook up the power wire. This thing's just temporarily set up in this thing as far as that goes. So just take that, don't mind the, the yeah. And this is the head unit for it. I have it set up. Oh, that's kind of, hopefully you guys will be able to read that. If not, I, I'll put a picture in there. It's weird on my side of the screen. We have boost. Our oil pressure is the second, the second pressure, the one on the intake. The fuel pressure is drive pressure, air intake, oil temp, because we don't have a coolant temp, so I just have an oil temp one, and then our EGTs. So we're going to do a pull on it, see what we get. We have, only thing we did was we did do a boost leak check on it because we had the intake horn off and we had to fix a little leak. I don't know whether that was leaking before. I don't think so. Maybe it was. I don't know. We'll see what we get difference-wise. Um, we didn't really do anything other than that. I kind of played around with the pump just a little bit um, just to see where it was set. So it might just be a little bit different than what it was before. But we're going to do a run on it and see what we get. guys so i'm gonna have to do a bit of a write-up i guess um so that everybody knows what is what and then do a little better job of videoing but this is the data log part of it so i think it's kind of cool this will help us out a lot for this and then uh, this. Smoke, smoke output is pretty good, especially the, these things used to be smoke machines even at that horsepower, but 266 horsepower, I think that's pretty good, basically out of a mostly stock with a little bit of timing, so that's kind of cool. 
Uh, if you guys want to see more of this content, let me know down in the comments. And uh, please check out the next video.